wasn't a great result, was it, for your Well, no, she's, she's made progress against Penny Morden went nowhere. And actually, Liz has done, done well. We are clo closing in, relative, in on that. In, in, relative, yeah, in, re in relative that terms. That is the important race. Yeah, in yeah. relative yeah. terms, mm. Penny Morden's down one. Mm -hmm. Liz Truss is up seven. I, I, I kind of get yeah. that. What I'm saying is, given the high-level backing, that Liz Truss has had from a few people, and given the high yeah. profile she had in last night's debate. Yeah. Now, yeah. you can argue whether she did well or yeah. badly, yeah. but I think she, she was, well. but she was, yeah. well, I, yeah. I, I said yeah. we can argue about that, but it was high profile. Her, yeah. The clash with Sunak, yeah. Yeah. the accusing him basically of being a posh boy who went to a private school, <laughs> um, him hitting back. I mean, that was the moment in a sense of that debate last night. Given all of that, you know, Kemi Badnock's vote has gone up more than Liz Truss's. That's the point I'm making. Well, only a couple. Of, it, look, it's... it's no, uh, no, no, let's just no, do no, the numbers. No, no, you no. Know, her but, vote's look, up by nine. Look, there are all sorts of games that get played in these elections. I think it's slightly suspicious that Rishi's vote suddenly gone up by that, that much. It makes you think there might be forces at work playing games with these numbers to try to game things the, the way they come through. The point is that Liz is in position now. She's the best candidate for us to co coalesce around. She's the one who'll take no nonsense from the civil service and actually get Brexit done properly and take advantage of all the so opportunities. So yeah, rather that like is why I'm, rather I'm like Mrs. Up. May. Rather like Mrs. No, May. No, no, not like Mrs. May. No, no, not at all. Who told no. us no, look, Brexit I, means Brexit I, as a Remainer. You will what, know why well is Liz that I fought to, very hard I know, against I know, Theresa I know, May. I know that. And I, I know that. Liz Trust. Why do you, she, because has she had this damascene conversion? She is the only candidate that's going to get it done. All of the others will be run by the civil service and will cave to them. She's the only one. She's, the Northern Ireland Protocol Bill is her baby. She absolutely believes in low taxes and regulatory reform, right. getting people excited well, about I, I investing in the I UK, let's, working let, in the UK. Let's accept and that, that's right? how we actually deliver opportunities let, for people throughout the me, country. Let me accept that. Yeah, yeah. Because time is what it is. <laughs> yes. And move on. <laughs> I mean, her performance in that first debate was uh, wooden, uh, disconnected, uh, and even in last night's debate, she's incapable of speaking to camera without reading notes. I mean, she certainly couldn't do this job without a full auto cue. I mean, how on earth? And you know as well as I do hmm. that we're kind of in... We're kind of in almost presidential politics in this country. Most votes that are cast in general elections are cast for or against the party leaders. It is a or sort of quasi-presidential system. Yeah. She's such a bad performer. In, even if you're right well, look, about the civil service, is, she's terrible. I know Liz well. She's actually uh, a very humorous, mischievous, uh, charismatic person. And I'd like to see her uh, get into people's front rooms, get people feeling like uh, they kind of know her because the Liz Truss that I country. know is a brilliant, is a brilliant well, why, performer but, but and she's why determined wasn't as she hell. In, why wasn't and she, she in these debates? Well, I thought she did very, very well last, last night. She, 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 she She's the only one who's actually proposing a program that's going to work. Marcus, and at the end did. of the day, delivery of things that matter to people is at the end of the day how we win this next election. We do not win it by making a mess of Brexit again. And I, I honestly think that all the other candidates would. Did Boris Johnson fail to complete Brexit properly? Well, there are, there's unfinished business. The situation <coughs> in Northern Ireland clearly is unfinished business, and that's incredibly important to, to both communities there in Northern Ireland that, that that is sorted out. And Liz is the one who is going to push it through. She, Liz is the one who's arguing for it she in sold the cabinet. Across -channel Rishi Sunak problem. was obstructing that. Rishi Sunak was obstructing the retained EU law bill. Rishi Sunak is not going to but do But Rishi Sunak, Brexit like Liz Truss, now, now apparently so. is this great reformer of EU law. No, well, no, no, no. Rishi really is not the great reformer of EU law. Liz is 100%. How do we, how do we, how do we know who to believe? Well, well because just watch what they've done in the cabinet over what the about, last six what or about, nine months. What about the One person's trade. been arguing for Marcus, it. One's been arguing what about, against it. What about it. the cross-channel trade? Yeah. Liz Truss shows absolutely no willingness to confront the point about the ECHR and, no, our, inability, and our inability to control true. our borders. No willingness whatsoever. We've, no, 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 that, that isn't true. We've, we actually spent um, 
an hour with each of the candidates earlier this, this week and went through all of these issues. Liz Truss was easily the most impressive of all of our interviewees. Oh, um, I'm, I'm talking about ECHR. And, and the ECHR, she was very, very, very clear on. She, she will absolutely address the issues with the ECHR that are uh, making sure that at the moment we have this issue with the small boats. She's 100% on... Will she leave the ECHR? Well, that's a, whether you actually leave the whole thing. Ah, she, she's willing to... Like the old she's Tory willing to, argument about the EU. She no, is, no, 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 we don't no, need to leave, Nigel. To. We don't need she's to leave willing the to EU. Do it. We that's can what she said. We can she said she's willing it. to do yeah, it. Yeah, she but if we can do it. things surgically in legislation to deal with the issues, it's worth examining that. Well, you know, but if yeah, I heard her say in public, if I heard her say in public, yeah. You know, that leaving ECHR was yeah. on the table. I might oh, no, slightly change my mind. She's, she, she's as strong as any of the candidates on dealing with the small well, boats. I think that may be a bit of wishful thinking. But no, Marcus, just, finally, is she going to come through this? T is she going to come to the last two? Yeah, I think she will. She's, she's in a good position. Anyone who is thinking about, sensibly, about how we actually get, get these things done, get the UK in a good state, more than a good state, get people really excited, as I said, about the prospects for the UK. She's the one with the plan, and she's the one with the uh, so-and-sos to go and deliver. All right.